I understand the old what's in the box videos are big on YouTube. Never done it before. I had somebody send me something though and I want to give it a try. Mike Matney and he makes, uh, produces uh, this new colony trap for, for muskrats. He said he'd like send me some, I could give him a try. So I want to see what's in the box. Let's open them up and find out. Mike's uh, got a, a fur shop up at Wrangell, Alaska. Okay, what all we got here? Ooh, comes with directions. Oh, and a DVD. Floating colony musky, musky, muskrat trap. I'll get that out yet. Instructional video. www.nongriptraps.com. There you go. Right on. Okay. Oh, they look cool. They definitely look cool. Oh, okay, I see. We've got s some assembly required here. <laughs> some assembly required. What it's going to end up looking like is this. See this here? And there are two models. One model allows you, get this, allows you to let the little ones go free. Boy, would I like that. I'm tired of everybody ragging on me about catching the extra small rats. <laughs> there, there's it in action. So it looks like, look, looking at the pictures, that your water level is, is, is right here. And once the rats go down, go down below, they are... They drown. These are the floats that are sitting in here that are got to be put on the side. And this, well, this is the model that catches every rat. <clears throat> it's used for, I can tell by looking at the, uh, the, the door. I'd watched, he's got some really cool um, trail cam videos on his website, nongriptraps.com. And it was really cool to watch uh, how the rats could get out, the small ones could get out. I'll show you, that'll be this trap here, I imagine. He makes these in Washington. And he was gonna give it a, a fancy name. It was, he was named it after, there was a woman that, that brought about uh, outlawing body grip traps. And so that's why, traps couldn't touch uh, an animal. They, they just decided that body grip traps were, were cruel and unusual. Drowning them, however, was, was absolutely acceptable. And so he named it originally after her and then had the designation 2000 behind it because uh, that was the year that she, she passed this law. <laughs> but I love these stories because he didn't let, him stay, let it stop him. He just decided that it would make, make him better, right? This one is the same thing. I'm gonna have to do some, uh, put together some, some parts here and that, and I see there's more instructions in here. There's, uh, looks like there's some bait or lure or whatever too. We'll get to that also. But you see this one here? This has this door. When the rat goes in, the, 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 the door goes down and it goes back up again. And when it's in there, a small rat can come back out through this and the big rats can't. So. This one is meant for 
fur trappers like me where I'm, uh, I want to just take the big ones. And this one is meant for animal damage control where they can kill them all. I'll give you a, a look at these here after I get them put together. All right, assembled. Like IKEA, some assembler required. Nah, not, not a big deal. Uh, you basically got a bolt here and a bolt on the back that hold each float on. Pro tip here, uh, Mike in his DVD says, do not over tighten, do not over tighten. <laughs> I'm a tool guy and the things are supposed to be tight. I kind of stuff it, it, it doesn't work out. It, it will, uh, makes a mess of, of how things operate. So just, just get them on their nylocks for a reason. So once the nylo nylon is engaged, that's good enough. He sent along some of his uh, favorite uh, lure. And it smells like, like it's Vaseline and, and, uh, and cherry oil. It smells wonderful. I'm certainly going to give it a try. Here's the two styles. And uh, one's the treadle style, which is kill them all, and the other is uh, a selective uh, style where the small ones can get back out. They're actually quite elegantly simple, and they're, they're, they're wonderful. I, I, I think they're really cool. Let's take a look here. You've got a flip open top, and at the back here, you can shove, uh, let's see, what, what's going to look like a carrot here? You can shove carrots down in the back. And they're, they're protected by wire on both sides all, all the way around, so you just shove carrots in there. Mike also takes and shoves a few down in, in, in through here, just so they hang down and, and the rats see them from the back, and he will seed them by, by sticking some chunks on, the, on that leading edge. Uh, as we know, rats cannot uh, resist carrots, and they, they work very well. So this is a treadle style. Now, uh, this is taken, close this down. This is, this is just your, your top access. Uh, the, how the treadle style works is, is fascinating. It stays open all the time. You want to set so that the water level is right here. And that's pretty close to where they're going to float. And if, if it's not, uh, not quite low enough, just take and, and uh, put some weeds over top. You know, there's always water weeds around that. And set it down a little bit just so that, that they come in like this. Now. How the treadle works is the rat comes through the door, this is, the door is always open, comes through the door and gets on the treadle, closes the door behind him. Well, as long as he's on that treadle, he cannot go back out. So eventually, he, you know, he, he'll get frustrated or, or he'll, he will go take a look and, and to the back here and try and eat some carrots. As, when he comes back, he hits the treadle again, and then he, he, he will take and, and go down through the fingers in the middle here, down into the bottom chamber. Okay, you've got some fingers in here, and it goes down and in, in, in into the bottom chamber. Uh, I'm told that, that this will hold eight rats. Looks like it will. And they're really easy to take out afterwards with, you just take and lift your trap out, take your rats out, and away you go. Pretty simple. Okay, now this is, the model that is the most popular, like if you're doing uh, animal damage control stuff on golf courses and that, this kills everything. Every one of them gets got. And the catches are phenomenal. This is the one that I'm probably going to use the most of. Because I'm trapping for fur. And I'm just keeping population in control and I want the big ones. I don't want the, I don't want, uh, the little ones because one, I don't like getting a uh, an award for the, the, the double extra small or whatever at, at, at the uh, auction. And they're just not worth the money. Once again, same, same place to put our bait, put some bait in down through here. We have a, a double, uh, two, two uh, sets of fingers that protect this. They're one-way fingers, they go down through and, and they're stuck down below. It's really, like I said, it's, it's elegant. It's so simple, it's elegant. Now, the front door is what's cool. And this is where if you over tighten, you're gonna cause yourself problems. You, once again, you wanna have your water level sitting here. You can see the floats are, are, are on an angle on this as compared to here. That's the, that, that is so that they're trying to get, so that it tilts and so that you wanna have the water, this, this bar here just at the water level because the way this is set up, 
is that when the rat swims up and if he hits his bar with his chest, it just pushes down. See that? He can't get back out. You see this? This is what I'm talking about. Is that, is, is that he, he, he tries to pull us from inside, he cannot get back down. But next one comes along, boom, same thing. Works so good, it's so ingenious. Like I said, it's just elegantly simple. Once again, if you over tighten these, you're gonna cause yourself problems. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited to give them a try. This is, this is really cool and uh, uh, I think that, that Mike is onto something here. You, you watch, uh, watch his DVD and they, uh, they catch lots and lots of rats with them. And if I sound excited, it's because I am. It's, it's, you know, after a while you start to think that there's never nothing new under the sun. Well, sometimes there is. So check it out. It's uh, nongriptraps.com, www.nongriptraps.com. I'm going to be, uh, take them out probably better part of a month yet. We're still in March here. And there's no, no wet spots even showing on the ice. But once it's, uh, once it's open, I'll be excited to give them a try. Be, be a good time. Watch for it.